Look at that. Look at that. That thing is going so fast. It's planing. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of doing kayak crazy demos with Alex. Been trying to put an outboard on a kayak for a long time. And self injury he beat me to it again and again and again. He's the best. So go follow up his channel. He's truly the best kayak channel out there. And you will love his content. Anyways, we got a 2.5 Suzuki four stroke. And we put it on our Johnny boat. But I wanted to put it on something else. Remember my kayak go kart 2.0 where we put a torpedo? I wanted to make it faster, so I'm gonna put my Suzuki 2.5 on this sit inside Pelican kayak. And yeah, do not try to do this at home, it, it's not pretty. Keep watching, you'll see why. It's not safe. We have this base already that we made and we just want to expand it to put the outboard there. 29 pounds, 30 pounds, about same that our trolling motor is. I'm gonna make sure that it's in the middle. We put two Yak Attack track mounts, put it here, and then we're using this track bolt. These are like um, the one that you use for your toilet. <laughs> yeah. And what we're doing is we are setting up something like a quick on and off. Now we're just gonna screw this in and we have enough space to bolt this in when we need to. This kayak, this is the Pelican uh, Trailblazer, I forgot the name, Trailblazer, it's a sitting side kayak, it's not a fishing kayak, it's to pay $200 uh, Dick Sporting Goods, and um, I use this kayak to put Torquito on it and do like a kayak go kart. Now I want to do something even crazier, I want to put my 2.5 Suzuki on this thing. So I made this mount to be able to take that and even a trolling motor later on that's the power pole pattern which means i could probably put the power pole on this boat or even the bispy mount the new bispy mount i use guys i put this one the wrong way i don't know what i was thinking i was maybe whatever this is a bad idea it's better if it goes straight and what i did in the front right here is look at this this is a wheel and I didn't drill any holes in the front. I just used the existing holes that it has for the bungee cables. And I put that little setup right there. And two rail blasts at mount. One there and one over there. So one is gonna have the fish finder and the other one is gonna have the camera, which is probably that one over there is gonna have the camera and this one the fish finder because that one holds, it's a stronger mount. We're gonna take it out for a spin today very windy so I don't know if I'm gonna fly the drone oh. I wonder how does it look on 
open the gas probably gonna be one or two or three tries let's see what's up all right <laughs> this is crazy one try i just added a four stroke to my canoe a four stroke yeah it's pretty big i gotta get some weights to balance it out yeah that that's probably gonna be an issue for me right here right now Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle. The motor is too low. The motor is too low. I'm thinking, oh my god, <laughs> don't do this at home kids, do not achieve it, the motor is almost sinking, water came in. Huh? Oh no no, it's just that, it's too, the motor, look, it, 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 it was too low and then water got in. So, was this like a failed experiment? I don't know, man. But uh, look at this water got in here. Hopefully, this bag works as advertised and my drum doesn't get messed up. How did it look out there? <laughs> it was pretty low, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Guys, it was a complete failure. But not really, right? Because we learned something. Uh, the motor was digging in too much and water came in and it almost. I almost, almost sunk. Anyways, we're gonna try to do this again. We're gonna lift this plate up a little bit and try again.